What's going on is Big Guns and Pistols. I'm back with another one. For this video, I just want to show you all some quick things. Number one, I want to thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. Those of you who are here, please press like. And if you're interested in what I have to show, or if you've been liking my previous videos without subscribing, go ahead and subscribe. I want to talk about these bulk carrier groups that I have sitting on the table, but also I want to talk about some bulk carrier groups that I don't have. You see here that I got four bulk carrier groups sitting on the table. Now, I want to talk to you about this phosphate. All right, get a close look. This is a phosphate basic bulk carrier group. Very basic. This is the one that came with my AR-15 initially. It doesn't even have the M16 full auto backing the rear of the bulk carrier group. That is a AR-15, not an M16 full auto bulk carrier group. Very basic. And it works, but it's very basic. Let's take a look at these indentations here. I think that they did it pretty well. Not bad. Not bad. They did it pretty good. I didn't want to keep this inside of my AR-15. I knew that I could grab something a lot better something that would increase the reliability of the AR. So I did away with this. I'm gonna set that to the side. And what I replaced it with was this here. This is a premium bulk carrier group. And the reason why I say it's premium is because you're not going to find many bulk carrier groups like this one. Now I bought this some years back, okay? Very nice land tack bulk carrier groups with the cuts. Of course, the bolt is 158 carpenter steel. Get a real good look at it. It has the cuts. Now, I can't tell you much about it. I'm not here to do all that. There's plenty of videos on it. But this here is what I would call a premium bulk carrier group. You're not going to find many bulk carrier groups like this. Get a real good look at it. Indentations, properly staked. I'll show you that close up. It's properly staked. Now, this bulk carrier group retails for about $260. At the time, I ended up catching it for about $180. And when I caught it for that price, I've only seen it for that price like two times in all of the years that this bulk carrier has been out. So it was about $180. And I had to make sure that I jump on that. But again, nickel boron, not just any nickel boron. This nickel boron is properly done very slippery, a magnetic particle inspected. You can see that there on the bolt. This is what you want. If you need to upgrade your bulk carrier group, make sure that you go with something like a nickel boron or the black nitrites. Those are good too. But for me, I chose the nickel boron. I was going to get one of the Sharps bulk carrier groups. I'll slide in a picture of that so you all can see. But I end up going with this one because I couldn't just, you know, the price of this one being on sale is just, I had to get it. So nickel boron. This is the one that I have in my 10 and a half inch AR-15. This is a WMD. You can see it right there. Again, nickel boron. 158 carpenter steel bolt, mil spec, MPI which is magnetic particle inspected, as you would want the bolt to be high pressure tested, all of those things. I believe I bought this, I forget how much I got this for, probably like $170. And that's not on sale. Regular price. Let's take a look at the staking, okay? Not bad on the staking. You definitely don't want that uh, loosening up. Very nice. There is a voodoo bulk carrier group. I looked at so many things. Anytime I'm looking to get something or looking to buy something, it takes me weeks and months because I want to make sure that I buy what's proper for me to have. Something that's not going to, you know, break down on me. Something that's going to keep up. So again, 
WMD ball carrier group. Now, one thing I will say is that I noticed is that the nickel boron that's on my Lantac is a lot more slippery than the WMD. But the WMD is still, you know, nice and lubricated and slippery. It's just that Lantac, I forget what it is, but Lantac, they use something a little special for their nickel boron. Now, Lantac has a lot of paddings on their bulk carrier group that other bulk carrier groups don't have. Now, for my 308 build, which is my AR-10, I went with the... This here is a Aero Precision 308 AR-10 bulk carrier group, much larger. Much larger, a lot more weight to it, very solid. You can really bust someone over the head with this. Get a good look at that. Very nice. Get a good look at the staking. Okay, I think they could have done a better job than that. I really do. We'll see. Time will tell. But uh, Air Precision does a really good job, so I trust what they do. Again, nickel boron. I always got that nickel boron. It's a lot better than phosphate. And to me, it's a lot better than the black nitride. They do have some other types of bulk carrier groups out there, but for the most part, I kind of stick with the nickel boron. So again, that's four different bulk carrier groups. I just want to show you all the route that I take when it comes to buying a bulk carrier group. Again, I usually go for the ones that tend to be more expensive because you can find a lot of bulk carrier groups out there that are cheap. Some are like $100. I've seen some for $90. I think I even seen some for $80. But like the Expo ones, I think those are $100. I kind of stick with the reputable brands, okay? There's a few different tiers to buying AR-15 bulk carrier groups, as well as any other AR-15 or gun parts. You see this tier here, this is on a whole nother tier, the land tag. That's like premium. But it's Big Guns and Pistols. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you will. Please press like on the video if you like the video that you just saw. Peace.